Close your eyes. Watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. And don't let your mind wander around. Try to stay right here as continually as you can. We've come to make merit. We've given gifts. We're sitting here. Nothing we're doing right now is breaking the precepts. What's left is training the mind. And what is that? Training the mind begins with goodwill. Goodwill for yourself, goodwill for other people. Goodwill for yourself is that you want your happiness to be complete. And you realize that the merit that comes from being generous and the merit that comes from observing the precepts is not complete without the meditation. Because everything is aimed at training the mind. It's the mind well trained that brings happiness. So if you really wish for your own true happiness, you've got to train the mind to tell it what to do so that it obeys you. When you tell it to stay, it stays. When you tell it to think, it thinks. When you tell it to stop thinking, it stops thinking again. In other words, in other words you want the mind to be under your control. Only then can you trust yourself. So as you're sitting here, tell the mind to stay with the breath. That's the way of showing goodwill for yourself and goodwill for other people, because you're looking for happiness inside in a way that doesn't take anything away from anybody else and doesn't lead you to want to do anything that would oppress anybody else or abuse anybody else. The people who oppress and abuse, that's because they think they can gain some pleasure out of taking something away from somebody else. But you realize that you've got all the resources of happiness here inside. It's simply a matter of developing them. So work on them right now. This way you're showing goodwill for yourself, goodwill for other people. And the world needs as much goodwill as it can, as it can get. Because there's so many people out there who think that greed, aversion, and delusion are good things. They give rise to greed, aversion, and delusion in themselves and in other people so that they're actively producing these things. So we have to actively produce goodwill instead to provide some good energy in the world. So don't think that when you're sitting here with your eyes closed you're not helping anybody else. You're doing good for the world. You're setting a good example. You're getting good energy into the world. And you're finding happiness in a way that doesn't harm anybody. Not only that, as you train the mind, you get more and more under your control. Once the mind is under your control, then you can begin to trust it. Not only while you're sitting here with your eyes closed, but as you go through the day. So training the mind is a good thing. It should be part of everybody's curriculum, everybody's training for being a human being. It's when the mind is well trained that we can live together in peace.